North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO I'll be covering this topic under following headings Introduction Objectives of NATO NATO member countries NATO Russia conflicts NATO non Russia conflicts expansion of NATO NATO and India and finally conclusion NATO is a security and military alliance between countries of Europe and North America NATO was established in 1949 with several key objectives the main objective of NATO was the containment of USSR and reducing its influence in Europe in 1949 there were only 12 founding member countries in NATO at present there are 31 members in NATO objectives of NATO deterrence against soviet expansion after world war 2 there was a growing concern about the soviet union's potential expansion in europe nato was primarily created to act as deterrent against the threat by ensuring collective security amongst its member states preventing nationalism and fostering integration the nationalist tendency in europe led to the world war 2 NATO aimed to prevent the resurgence of nationalist tendencies in Europe it also sought to foster political integration on the continent the NATO member countries are as follows in 1949 there were 12 founding members these are Belgium Canada Denmark France Ireland Italy Luxembourg Netherlands Norway Portugal United Kingdom including the United States of America in 1952 Greece and Turkey joined in 1955 Germany joined Spain joined in 1982 Czech Republic Hungary and Poland joined in 1999 Bulgaria Estonia Latvia Lithuania Romania Slovakia Slovenia joined in 2004 Albania Croatia joined in 2009 Negro joined in 2017 not Macedonia joined in 2020 and Finland the latest member joined in 2023 the major conflicts between NATO and USSR from 1950 to 1989 after the world war 2 NATO and Russia were have been involved in many conflicts indirectly some of them are the Korean war which was from 1950 to 1953 the Vietnam war which was from 1955 till 1975 the soviet afghan war which started in 1979 and ended in 1989 nato non ussr conflict all the nato was originally founded for collective defense of its member countries against the ussr and containment of ussr in europe however nato was involved in the following conflicts not involving the ussr bosnia and herzegovina Chechnya Kosovo conflict invasion of Afghanistan 2001 invasion of Iraq 2003 Libyan war 2011 Syrian war 2011 NATO expansion the cold war between NATO and USSR ended with the disintegration of USSR in 1989 however even after USSR disintegration the NATO has continued to expand NATO has added 15 member countries after USSR disintegration and most of the countries are on the western border of Russia the primary reason for the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ru- Ukraine is the desire of Ukraine to join NATO the countries that have joined NATO after USSR disintegration are as follows Czech Republic Hungary Poland Bulgaria Estonia Latvia Lithuania Romania Slovakia Slovenia Albania, Croatia, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Finland. NATO and India. India is not a NATO member but engages with NATO through strategic dialogue and as a major global stakeholder. NATO has expressed its openness for increased engagement with India and making India major non NATO ally. Few of the advantages and disadvantages of deepening ties of India with NATO are as follows. Advantages enhancement of security cooperation if india were to join nato it would benefit from increased security cooperation intelligence sharing with nato member countries access to advanced military technology membership in nato could provide india access to cutting edge military technology and capability 
strengthening defense ties closer alignment with nato could enhance india's defense ties with western nation potentially leading to joint military exercise and collaboration deterrence against aggression nato's collective defense principle could serve as a deterrent against potential aggression from adversaries disadvantages sovereignty concern by allowing nato to build base in indian soil india might perceive it as invasion of its sovereignty non alignment tradition india has historically followed a policy of non alignment which is cornerstone of its foreign policy joining nato would mark a departure from this tradition china factor india shares a complex relationship with china nato's action could impact india's strategic autonomy and regional dynamics especially considering china's stand on nato expansion russia factor indo russian relationship go a long way russia has been india's major provider of defense equipment aerospace cooperation energy fertilizers and food grain while nato membership offers benefit in terms of security and technology india must careful weigh its advantages against concern related to sovereignty autonomy and regional complexities conclusion india should maintain a pragmatic approach and be open to cooperation with nato without compromising its non alignment tradition and sovereignty nato and india share some common interest and are divergent on many issues although nato was formed as primarily defensive alliance against ussr expansion in europe however its expansion in europe continues especially on the western borders of russia russia is an all weather friend and a strategic partner of india india should engage with nato on common interest but also be concerned about the interest of its strategic partners especially russia